This is Dan. We're going to be yelling over the generator because he's got to keep working, but he came all the way from Canada to run the composting toilet uh, station here at the Van Build this year, and he's got one going right now. What can you tell us about it? We got plans. <laughs> Contrary to last year, uh, we set up uh, with one sheet of plywood, we make two potties, and we have enough left over to start a third. So eventually we'll have enough spare parts and scrap metal and scrap stuff to to do some extras. So, but right now at least we have this last year, and we got a kind donation from somebody for Roy. Uh, Thank you, Roy, for pitching in those uh, composting toilet parts. I really appreciate it. It's making a was, difference. That was very instrumental in getting this uh, stuff off the ground, kind of thing. So. Yeah, Roy's a good guy. Yeah. So by all means, once you got all the parts, it's. Uh, I mean, right now, pretty much anybody can do it. Uh, like I said, this is the plans, this is how to cut it, this is the measurements, this is where they go. Uh, so, I mean, you have a copy of this, the head carpenter has a copy of this. So, uh, you know, you could be doing this, uh, if you want to get them downloaded, maybe uh, I can send them to Jamie in a, in a PDF format or something, and then you can build your own any anytime. You only need a half a sheet of plywood, the measurements are based on three quarter inch, so it's more solid and more in place when you're, you know, doing your, your thing, so it doesn't move around so much. But, I mean, the sky's the limit. You can adjust the height. Uh, the measurements won't change depending on the size of your bucket. You can also put some felt pads underneath or some uh, little rubber feet that you can get to, from a dollar store. And that way you're either sliding it easier or you're, you know, set in place in your rig uh, or whatever your location is. So yeah, it's a wonderful job that Jamie's doing. Really appreciate uh, all the effort and the planning that he's gone through uh, to put this together every year. It's not everybody would be able to do it, and not all people, not all people who are able would want to do it. Right. So, cheers to you, my friend. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you coming all the way down to help out like you are. No, no problem. I know you got the crappy job. <laughs> it's a shit job. Yeah. Yep. All right, man. Let's go. Jamie, you see anybody that's got white connectors, let me know. I'll buy them from them. Okay. Thanks, buddy. All right, I'll be on the lookout. That's Howard. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Solar team one. Looks like Ron is still here. He said he was going to take off. He's probably getting close. Howdy. Hi. Hey Stuart, how's it going? Great. Uh, get this and that's pretty amazing. I have a device that I could bring you down if you would use it that helps you find what wire is live and what wire goes to what. It's some kind of sophisticated piece of equipment that I've never used before, but it might help you if you're working on an RV or something trying to chase down a wire. Yeah. Would, if I brought it down, you'd use it? Absolutely. Okay, cool. I'll put that on my list next time I swing down this way. Great, thank you. Anything you can think of that you need? Um, Ren is looking for like three eighths inch wire loom. Split I don't loom. have any wire loom. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any uh, branch connectors you can spare? Because the guy won't. He'll buy, pay you for them. <laughs> Is that a real hot commodity? I gotta yeah. go through my boxes. Yeah. That's one of the reasons I need to tear yeah. into those boxes. Yeah. Because there could be some in there. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. I know, well, man. We scrounged a couple too. Okay. So, yeah. All right. All right. So I'll put that on my list to bring down to you. All right. Thank you. Sounds good. Hey. How's it going, guys? Good on, Jamie. I am all done, my friend. Are you? I have, done, I have working, you want to see it? I have working 12 volt fridge running on solar panels because of you, mate. <laughs> right on. Yeah. I got my shit in the way, but you can see my brand new 12 volt fridge up there with my charge controller running on 330 volt panel or watt panel. And I am rocking. This is cool. How's this experience been for you this time around? Oh my God, this is like almost spiritual. This is like, I'm saying that this is, what you did for me was the the biggest thing I've had somebody do for me in, well, maybe in my lifetime. Glad it worked out. It's, it's, I'm hooked. You got my help. Good deal. I'll be here. Thanks, sir. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. We've got Rand down here, Solar Team 11, Black Ops, Special Forces. 
How's it been going down here? Uh, busy, busy, busy. As you can see, we got one, two, three right now, and we got about four more people coming later. So <laughs> you're getting yeah, some of the overflow because it was definitely guys were... because of the rain. We're just trying to go ahead and get everybody taken care of as fast as we can. So and we don't even know what the rain's going to be. I it, agree. I mean, I so agree. we're out in the middle of the desert. You never know. So yeah. Well, thanks for all you're doing. If I have any loom, I'll bring it down to you. I, I've Thank got boxes you. to go through. Yeah, that's all I need. You don't have any branch connectors you can spend? Uh, I got 10 gauge, that's it. You branch connectors? So how big are you asking? Just, you guys just need two, and I'm sure they're 10 gauge. Um, I'll send them down your way. Yeah, no worries. Okay, he'll, right. he'll pay you for them. Uh, What's up, Roy? I have a 100 amp breaker on there. Uh, I don't know, but let me write it down. How are the jobs going down there? Well, we only got one today, so that's great. And we got a, a spillover from yesterday. We found a, a short power plug for her, so she's happier in the clam now. <laughs> right on. <laughs> yeah, sure. so, and the uh, camper is almost done. So, it's going better. We, we only showed you one job for this morning and another one for this afternoon. So. If uh, push comes to shove, could you maybe do CC's install? They're working on our van in the construction. I, my crew is bending ship after today. They're taking off because of the rain or something, burnout, all that jazz? Yeah, yeah, they're gone. So I'm gonna probably join Bill's team four. Okay, cool, thank you for sticking around. This is the actual composting station at the van build. We saw Dan over making the box for it in carpentry but this is where it gets finished out with graham cracker and she's got a couple of them in the final phases. Why don't you talk to us about it? Okay, we're cutting these out here and we're manufacturing them here. We've done this from start to the finish. Okay, so you did all this here? All this is done here. Um, we've got a couple different models. We've got the taller model like for uh, handicap and then we've got the shorter model for just standard. And then this is the squatty potty model for uh, a, a client wanted a real short one, so we made a real short one. But what we've done is we've, we've put in a diverter. There's a urine diverter in there. It has a uh, two-gallon bucket. And uh, when you lift it up, you can get your bucket out. You can get your jug out. Uh, it's all locked in, so it's not going to move. We've got openings so you can see what you got in your jug. And all you got to do is sit. You don't have to lean forward, lean back, nothing. And uh, we put a riser in there so you don't feel anything. It's like sitting on your commode at home. And we know that a nature's head or an airhead come in at around a thousand dollars. And you can't customize them because uh, you know that's just one size fits all. These you can customize. What do you reckon that you got in this as far as money goes? Um, all the materials total is about a hundred dollars. That includes the toilet seat. And um, we're using stainless steel. That's a real important part because with like the nature's head and the airhead, it's plastic and it'll smell after 30 days. Stainless steel has no odor. And we're using stainless steel and even the bucket can be stainless steel, but they're in about a hundred bucks. And you're not painting these? They are. You're leaving it up, leaving it up to the recipient to paint right. them? Yep. They're they gonna, can paint them the color of their rig or whatever? Do whatever they want. They're going to kilt the inside so that they've got an odor control paint inside and then they can do whatever they want outside, customize it. This one can go under a bed because it's so short. Some of these could be permanently mounted. They're not super heavy. I mean, hello, they're really light. The lids are heavy. So the lids is what makes it heavy. You go with a lighter lid, you got a lighter seat. So, right on. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for uh, doing all this stuff. I know a lot of people are going to composting toilets. It's a lot more practical. I know that I don't have one, and I'm always dumping the whole thing, and it'd be a lot easier just to dump the, the front, you know, the number one, and save up the number two, so. Yeah, you can go you can go about a week on a three-gallon bucket with no odor in your van at all, and on a two-gallon, I'm gonna save maybe three or four days. Okay. Five gallons is too much. Right, right, I know, that's what mine is, it's heavy. Too all right, long. thanks all right. a lot. All right. What the hell? Is this the same van? Same van. Holy crap! I don't remember that. So uh, yeah, we got the subfloor in, rocking and rolling. It's looking good. A few more screws, so we got some. Uh, so what we did. Uh, remember those big, huge holes that are in there? Yeah. We put spray foam underneath. Okay. Well, we first we dry fit everything, spray foam underneath, then we laid it down and screwed it. Nice. So it'll come up and be. 
nice and flat and solid for her. We got a few days left. How's it been going so far, Reed? Uh, you know, it's like drinking from a fire hose. <laughs> right? <laughs> but it's fun. Uh, I think everyone right now is all freaking out about the rain on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, but uh, you know, it is in the desert. I mean, I, I've been calling that the uh, free solar panel wash. Right. Everybody's getting a free solar panel wash. They don't have right. to move the rigs. Right, exactly. It, it just keeps getting better. That's what I love about it. Yeah. So, uh, no, we're we actually, uh, Marty's in town right now picking me up some tarps. We're gonna go, I'm gonna have Jack's pull up on the other side. I'm gonna be over here, we're gonna do 40 feet by 40 feet. Yeah. That way we can work on uh, one or two vehicles at a time. Oh, See, that's gonna included. be sweet. Yeah, so in case it rains, we're gonna be set. Good. <clears throat> but I'd say, you know, overall, it's going pretty smooth. Um, yeah. I finally got all Dan's work orders. You're welcome, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your second time being here? Yep, second year. How would you compare this van build compared to last year? Oh, you can't compare the two. Uh, well, I guess you can compare. I think this is much more organized, much more organized. We uh, got you a debris box this year. Got me a debris box. I think, uh, yeah, uh, we, we should have like initially said, okay, you know, here's a huge bin for uh, uh, your poop. Right. <laughs> so everyone's got dogs, right? Here's a big bin for uh, Recycles. recyclables. See the here's, cardboard's been sorted here's the cardboard. out. And I think that would have made it a lot easier, but you know, it is what it is. That's you know something we'll learn for next year. Yep. But other than that, I, I mean, like I said, I think uh, generally speaking, there's been a few frustrations just from, uh, you know, hey, uh, we thought you were here, you didn't show up, and oh, now you're here, and oh, someone moved in front of you, you know, that kind of thing. And it's nothing more than, you know, we, if someone's coming in, they don't show up, and we're ready to rock and roll, we'll, we'll pick the next person that's on the list and get them done. And... Well, one of the things to take into consideration with an operation like this is that we're, this is a pop-up construction site in the yeah. middle of the desert, yeah. and oftentimes, you know, I remember you from last year, but we have folks coming from all over, and we don't know their skill set, we don't know what tools they're going to bring, we don't know what people want to have done on their vans, and we certainly can't build every van out to the Taj Mahal. We're just trying to get everybody a little bit better so everybody gets a chance for a visit. Right. And all things considered, I think we're doing pretty good. I think we're doing awesome. I, uh, you know, I, I, I uh, yeah. I need more water. Here, take a sip, man. I'm good. I, I, I was actually getting ready to break for lunch in the, in the, in the bus, and I saw you outside. I fairly grabbed you to show you the CC's van. So I've got her bed. I just need to, uh, we're gonna modify it. And uh, did you see Eric uh, Wanderboom's here? I don't think I know that person by sight. Uh, that's yeah. Eric, and he's a friend of Jack's, and, uh, and Steve Punk Steve, and so you know, I, I know him through there, but we were at Color Custom Coachworks working on Jax's bus. That's how I know Eric. So he's the one that did the countertops. I, I pulled that. him in on CC's job. Oh, good. So that's that's how it's getting done, like so fast to the nines. Does he, does he do solar? No. Because if he could do solar too, I don't have. So we're losing a bunch of solar installers. Really? Because of the rain and burnout. Okay, solar. Don't be wimps. It's just rain. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for having me.